Banksy Fund's refugee rescue boat operating in Mediterranean. Here's a summary of the article. The British street artist Banksy has financed a boat to rescue refugees attempting to reach Europe from North Africa, The Guardian can reveal. The vessel, named Louise Michel after a French feminist anarchist, set off in secrecy on 18 August from the Spanish seaport of Bariana, near Valencia, and is now in the central Mediterranean where on Thursday it rescued 89 people in distress, including 14 women and four children. The crew, made up of European activists with long experience in search and rescue operations, had already assisted in two other rescue operations involving a total of 105 people, who are now on board the NGO vessel Sea Watch 4. Banksy's involvement in the rescue mission goes back to September 2019 when he sent an email to Pia Klemp, the former captain of several NGO boats that have rescued thousands of people over recent years. The crew feared that media attention could compromise their goals, if word had circulated that a project financed by Banksy would soon sail toward the central Mediterranean to rescue migrants, the European authorities could have attempted to thwart the mission. For this reason, Banksy's team and the rescue activists agreed to release the news about the boat only after carrying out the first rescue. COVID-19 lockdowns and restrictions have also affected sea rescue activities, with NGO crews unable to return to the central Mediterranean for the last several weeks. This post received a score of 10,000, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I'm starting to think that Banksy is a group rather than a single person anymore. That's been a theory for a long time. I thought it was Del Naya? Robert Del Naja is part of the band Massive Attack that also formed in Bristol. IDK the guy's name but we pretty much know who Banksy is these days and it's not the band guy. Then who is he, if you pretty much know who Banksy is these days and it's not the band guy? The two names most often suggested are Robert Banks and Robin Gunningham. I'm guessing this boat will soon be dismantled by wealthy art collectors just to say they got their hands on an original Banksy. Who will then have a broker sell it to themselves for am inflated price and donate it to a charity they own for those sweet sweet tax credits. That's some serious commitment to the cause. The boat will have cost millions and the operating costs will likely approach a million year. What's the quickest way to become a millionaire? Start as a billionaire and buy a boat. Nah, start as a billionaire and buy an F1 team. Lawrence, don't tell me, already. Well it will take a while for him, but he's getting there tears of joy. He could do better to just invest in the education systems of the countries they are coming from. I'm sorry, but this sounds incredibly sketchy. I wonder where we draw the line between rescuing and human trafficking. I don't know, when they're in distress in the middle of the med? You can make the argument that the traffickers intentionally set the refugees up to drown, be rescued, but that doesn't mean they should be left to die. Fix the cause of the refugee crisis destabilization in North Africa, the Middle East etc. before jumping straight to, well just let them drown and they'll stop. Is he going to fund jobs and housing and everything else for oncoming waves of refugees too? No one has problem with saving people from drowning. The questions is, does he have a plan when they are brought to the shore? Or do you just let them loose and hope for the best? Probably to dump them on Greece and feel like a hero. And then write a thundering opinion piece about how much of a scum they are and we are in The Guardian, to make yourself feel even better about yourself. Tell me how this isn't just human trafficking. Without a plan beyond fishing them out of water, the group will accomplish nothing better than the Libyan Coats Guard in regards to safety and human trafficking. This video was automatically created by Reddit to Speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.